that the stringent position is more acceptable. In any case, it's more practiced. People, that rabbis, that are presented with problems, real halachic problems, that are difficult to solve, the easy way out is to say they are sore. It's forbidden. Let's avoid dealing with the issue. That is exactly the opposite of what is written in all our rabbinic codes. A person must struggle to find an equitable, livable, humane solution within the parameters of classical halakha to such problems. Perhaps the most shocking example which you're all aware of is the Aguna problem, the so-called enchained women. Because there's no question that the halakhic solutions exist that would solve 95, 99% of all the Aguna problems, of all the Mesuravot get problems. The problem is not a halakhic one, the problem is a sociological one. The problem is that the Batidin are not willing to use the kelim, the, 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 um, the means which are at their fingertips in order to solve these problems. And the problem, the, 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 the solutions are there, they're in the Shulchan Aruch. This whole notion of retroactive cancellation is anti-halachic, anti-maimonidean, anti-shulchan aruch. And just think of what it means. It means that a genuine person that wants to become converted can never be sure of his own future because in five or ten years time some bait in for some reason will say no. That's going, we're going to cancel it retroactively. Modern orthodoxy, what I believe should be modern orthodoxy, cannot countenance such a type of attitude. It has to follow halakha the way it's written in the sources. It has to follow the basic principles of halakha, which are koach de hetera adif, you should seek ways of leniency. That the Torah is an Eitz Chaim, it's a livable organ, a, 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 a vibrant, live organism which is dynamic. And the Halakha states, the Durache Hadarche Noam, not just the sin, the, the congregation, but the Halakha is that the Torah and the Halakha are ways of pleasantness. And this we'll find throughout halachic many examples within the areas of halakha. So our religion has to be pleasant, it has to be humane, it has to take into account how to be attractive, it has to be inclusive, and if we don't do these things we're just driving people out of the orthodox fold. And when we drive them out of the orthodox fold, we don't know where they'll go to. Here in the United States, you have enough problems of intermarriage. We don't have to exacerbate the situation. And if changes in the past were slow, in our age, changes are very rapid. And, uh, I don't know, iPhone number five was produced, what, a year or less after number four? <laughs> I mean, that, that's the sort of rapidity of change that's taking place. So, we can't say, let's wait and see what happens. You have to run in the in order to keep up with the time. It's like when you're going on a 
elevator that's going up. If you stand still, you'll go down. You have to run to keep up with it. And that only we can do. And in order to do that, our constituencies have to give support to those rabbis that have the courage to stand independently against the criticism of their Haredi counterparts. They can't do it by themselves. They need the support of the community. This community has to be aware of the problems. The rabbis have to have the courage to take a position, to explain it to their communities, and the communities have to give them the backing that they need. We have to unify ourselves, and only in doing so will we be able to to return the true face of halakha to its traditional visage, manner.